frankly, we have to really realize that this productivity slowdown is really a global phenomenon. The main driver of real wages is labor productivity. They've been flat for 10 years or so. That means compared to any example of another 10 year period, since the Industrial Revolution, it's been a very poor performance. And that means people are frustrated. There have been two phases of digital change. The first we call the all digital economy, where the introduction of the personal computer and the beginnings of the internet were making companies relatively easily more productive. Currently, we're talking about the introduction of mobile technology, of ubiquitous access to the internet, of widespread applications, of cloud applications, and artificial intelligence and robotics. This is much more difficult for businesses to translate into new business models and new products and services. Despite all the investments that companies are making in digital technology, that quite often do not yet have made the organizational changes and the investments in technology, and the investments in their organizations, the investments in their people and their skills in order to translate the technology into productivity growth. Another question that that raises is, um, are we actually measuring productivity correctly? We have had a productivity slowdown, but maybe we're not capturing everything in the way that we measure things. The Introduction of new digital technology is so difficult for companies because they need to restructure their organizations, find new ways of collaborating across their employees in the organization, and they need to create new skills and new competencies of their workforce that they haven't known before. There's huge potential in these new technologies. Sadly, I think what we've seen tonight is that, you know, getting to that sort of level of deployment and absorption by businesses is going to take some time. The good news is that particularly in the UK, we do find that companies and sectors that are intensive users of digital technology do gradually begin to get faster productivity growth. However, we do need to see policies that are complementary and that are supportive of stimulating uh, companies to work together with schools and with the government institutions in order to create an environment in which they can drive faster productivity growth.